Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another Shop My Stash, but this is going to be travel edition. I'm actually gonna go out of town this weekend. I'm going to Vegas for my birthday, so I wanted to film this ahead of time um, and have this video up Saturday for you guys. Usually I film on Thursdays and today's Tuesday, so I wanna just have it filmed already for Saturday because I need to edit before we leave. So I just got off work so I figured I can film that, I can edit it and it's ready to go because the next few days I have stuff that we have to get ready before we leave. So yeah, I wanted to film it ahead of time and look at my eye look you guys. I used it thirsty. Don't look at my foundation because I just got off work. But my eye look, this is the Thirsty Palette. I really enjoyed that palette this week. But so yeah, let's just go ahead and let me share with you guys the products I used last week, what I thought of them, and then we will be shopping my stash. So this week we actually used the Androgyny Palette and also the Thirsty Palette. Now, the shades that I used today were this one in my crease. I mixed these two in my crease also. And then I applied this shade on my lid. Like these shades are beautiful. I do find that they, they do have like fallout on the face. So I've been using a glitter glue and they just stay on. They don't budge or anything. So I did use this palette. I really like this palette. And then I also used it in conjunction with this one. Um, I pretty much used the shades on the top. I didn't really touch into the bottom shades just because of work and blue eyeshadow. <laughs> but yeah, um, really enjoyed both of these palettes. Really happy that I was able to use them this week. And hey, I'm going to put these away and pick new palettes to use for my trip and for the rest of the week. So since I'm down here, this is the Too Faced... Sweetheart's bronzer. It's a baked luminous glow bronzer in sweet tea. I really liked this bronzer. I picked this up because of Kathleen Lights. She loves this bronzer and she definitely has a great taste. <laughs> um, this is really nice. It's like it's a luminous bronzer, like it says on here, but it doesn't look super luminous or anything. It's really beautiful for summertime right now, and I think it would be really pretty for wintertime also. But I would love to take this on my trip, but usually on my trips I like to take palettes like I have a, a blush, highlighter, and a bronzer, so I'm going to pick one of those. I have my MAC palette I always take, but I think I'm going to take a different palette. But I did like this. This was really nice. And then I also did use this LA Color Strobing Illuminating Powder. I did have this on in my intro, so if you guys were wondering, this is what's in my on my cheeks as highlight this is beautiful definitely recommend it this is la color strobing illuminating powder in champagne this was nice so i really enjoyed this the last thing in here is this koki cosmetics blush up palette in blushing and i had three options this past week and they're not like super pigmented like you have to be careful with your brush because i did kind of rub into mix and match shades or by themselves. Um, they do have pigment and they were really nice. They are long lasting and I did enjoy this. Next up in this drawer, I have the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder just in translucent. I did enjoy this a lot. I may take this on my trip. I like that this just really looks airbrushed on the skin. Um, it looked really good. So I may take this on my trip. I'm gonna set this aside though. Another product I used was this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. It's a pore minimizing primer. And I did enjoy this. This does really good things for my pores. And yeah, I'm going to pick something else. Another primer that I used was this Kat Von D Hydrating Primer Base. I really enjoyed this as well. It's pretty hydrating and I did enjoy it. So I would recommend this. The foundation that I had used was the Sephora Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation. I had like no idea how to use this. I was like spraying it on my um, brush and also my sponge and I also sprayed it on my face but I just don't like spraying it on my face. So what I did was again just spraying it on my sponge or brush whatever I was using to apply this. I really like this. This is actually really nice and matte. Um, but I feel like it's a little too matte, like on my forehead especially. This was what I was wearing in my intro again. I find that my forehead kind of looks drying. So I really have to hydrate um, when using this foundation. But I did like this. And then the last thing that's in here is this Revlon Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. This is in the shade C6. I am almost about done with this. I do like this, but I do find that it's more brightening than like correcting my dark circles. The shade especially. So I've been using a color corrector on my under eyes just because this doesn't... It's a nice coverage, but I still see darkness peeking through. 
yeah, I do, I do like this. I just feel like this shade doesn't do much for my dark circles. And then in the top drawer, I had my two lip products, which I did use on in my intro. I do have this Jeffree Star in Checkmate. This was part of a holiday, I think, last year or the year before. I don't even remember. And then I did use the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Aria. Both beautiful shades. Really enjoyed both of these colors this week. For mascara, I used this these two mascaras. This one is the Wander Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. This mascara is beautiful to like define your lashes and separate your lashes, but it doesn't do anything for volumizing your lashes. Um, I did like it because it did separate every single lash I had and it actually looked really nice, but for volumizing, this is no bueno. This is probably good for like makeup day where you just want to define your lashes, but not like to really deepen them or darken them or anything for volumizing it's not that great this is the maybelline lash sensational mascara and this was okay as well i did pair both of them together they worked really well this one works well by itself um but i was using them mostly together because this was again separating and this was more like kind of volumizing my lashes and then for liner this week i had the nyx epic ink liner and again, it's a felt tip liner. I do think this is comparable to the Kat Von D liner. It's really smooth and really pretty. Again, I did also have this in my intro. I do like that. Um, I had two liners actually use this today and I didn't use this purple one. So I'm gonna leave this in here and probably take it on my trip. This is the Urban Decay 24 seven Glide On Eye Pencil in Ransom. It's just a purple shade. I didn't use this, so I'm gonna leave it in there. But I did use this brown uh, Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in 25L. It's a brown shade. I think I'm going to leave this in here also and just take it on my trip. Another product I'm going to leave in for the week is this LA Colors Browy Wowy Brow Pencil in dark. I think it's dark brown because I linked this in a video and there wasn't no such thing as just dark. So I think it's dark brown. <laughs> but I did like this. Um, I like this better than my Pop Beauty... Uh, brow pencil and also the Ardell brow pencil that I have so I'm gonna leave this in here I'm gonna take this on my trip and use it for next week as well so those are all the products that I had used this week so let's go ahead and shop my stash for my trip so I'm gonna be picking a lot of stuff to keep my face semi matte because it is Vegas I do live in Nevada and here is also a hundred degrees during like lately but over there it's like 110 and up so I want something to make sure my foundation is gonna stay on so let's go ahead and shop my stash so i have this thing next to our sinks and i'm actually going to take this palette with me i've been focusing so much on other palettes that this is in my project pan and i have not been um using this palette very much which i should be using you guys might get a little maybe get a sneak peek from my project pan i had um pan on those two already but i think they're a little bigger i'm gonna take this palette on my trip Another product I'm going to take on my trip from my project pan is this right here. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in Medium. I like to wear this on no makeup makeup days just to conceal my dark circles and any redness I have. So I'm going to take this on my trip also. Don't want to take anything else in here. I think... That is, I'm gonna take this too, actually. This is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Full Cover Concealer. So I'm gonna take this. This is also my project pen. You can kind of see my progress there, but I'll be taking this to kind of correct my dark circles. And I'm actually gonna take this also because this is what I've been using to moisturize my lips for morning and at night. So I'll take this also. For foundation, I actually don't know what I want to take. I definitely want to take something that's gonna stay pretty matte. Like, I know this one stays matte and this one was pretty nice also. I kinda want to take this just cause it looks really like naturalish, but also gave coverage as well. I'm just trying to see what will stay matte on me while away i know like this becca one is like super matte also but it's full coverage and i don't really want a full coverage foundation i think i'm going to take um this one right here this is the makeup forever matte velvet plus mine's in the shade 40. yeah i'm gonna take this to my trip hopefully this does well in 100 degree and up weather 
And then for primer, I want to use this one right here. This one's the um, Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blop Instant Perfecting Primer. So this is, it says it's Shine Block for 12 hours and it's also, yeah, it has pore shrink technology. So I'm gonna take, well, these two products on my trip with me. So I'm going to need a concealer also. I think I haven't used my uh, Ulta Beauty. This one's a new one. I think I have one that's open already. Glitter in here too. I remember using this to correct my dark circles and I don't think there's much in here. I need to finish this up. I don't know. It doesn't look like I have a full coverage concealer open from Ulta Beauty. I think that's what I'm going to take on my trip is this one. This is again the Ulta Beauty full coverage liquid concealer and I have mine in the shade Light I want to take another palette just to have something else to use on my trip and then next week just because what I have in there is just pretty basic shades. Oh, I'm gonna make some color or something. This, I haven't used this and then Kathleen's also coming out with a new palette also. This will be nice because it has like bluish tones and stuff like that. Yeah, this one and then my The Balm Meet Matrimony. This is the Kathleen Lightstream's Colourpop Shadow Palette in the It's the Dream Street Palette. This is really pretty. Look how pretty this or is. For lips, I'll probably pick a cap on my lipsticks. I'm gonna pick one of these two shades. Brighter shade. I think I'm gonna use the top one just because it's a little brighter. Yeah, and this shade is called Bachelorette by Kat Von D. So, that's about this. This is like, see like, you will not see like these colors in my collection. I rarely use these, but I actually got this from Marshalls. This is the Anastasia in Karina. These shades kind of look similar, but the um, Kat Von D one is darker. So I found another one I could use. I'm gonna use this Anastasia one in Sad Girl. So I'm gonna use these two shades. I do need some mascara and I'm actually gonna take this one which is my favorite mascara again the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara so I'm gonna take this mascara and then I also do need a liquid liner. This is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It's just a black one so I'm gonna take this. So for bronzer and highlight oh look let's do like one of these. This one's highlight and bronzer. I could probably do this so I don't carry so much stuff with me so I would just need to get like a blush yeah let's take this and try this oh this is the tart tardiest pro glow to go I was thinking about taking this one the natural face but I've used it already so I need a blush I wonder if I should take these these are the coastal scents like individual like I don't even know what they're called but they're blushes I have some options yeah I think I'm gonna do that I'll take this and this for blush, bronzer, and highlight because I have two options for highlight right there. And for um, powder, I'm actually going to take this because this is like my favorite powder right now. So I'm going to take the Too Faced Born This Way Theorem Setting Powder. I actually really like this one too. And I haven't used this one. Maybe I should use this one instead. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. Okay, I'm going to do that just because I've used this like not too long ago. So we'll leave that and we'll take this instead. I'm actually going to take some lashes also. I'm going to take these. These are the, um, these are like my go-to. These are the Eyelore Baroque Mink Style Lashes. Just in case I want to get some lashes on. I like these flurry type lashes. And you never know what we're going to do on my birthday. Okay, so let me give you guys an overview of stuff that I put in here. I actually also picked this without you guys. This is the ColourPop Luxe. Lipstick in Money Moves, so I'm gonna use this also. This is really beautiful. I did put my lash glue and my lash applicator so I don't forget them. And then here is an overview, my two lippies, mascara, liquid liner, pencils, and my brow pencil. And then in my next drawer, I have my powder, my Tarte contour and highlight, my Coastal Scents blushes, my foundation, one heck of a blot, and my two concealers right there. And then in the last drawer, I have my two palettes that I'm going to be using this week. My lashes and this Marc Jacobs Correcting My Dark Circles. So yeah, those are all the products that I'm going to be using 
on my trip and the rest of the week until next time I film this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.